thank you for coming through Caldwell Parish today with your flag. Um, if you could explain to us what it is and, and why you're doing it. Yeah, the, Nation of, the Patriot of Nations flag tour is about bringing awareness to veterans and their families, those who have lost their lives in service to our country and those that come back wounded either physically or mentally. And the challenge is that when they return to get their lives back to normal again and there's not always enough resources to help them continue a normal life and to help the families continue. So this flag makes 104 stops in 100 days. It starts in Wisconsin and it ends in Wisconsin. It touches all 48 states in the continental U.S. And, and each one, its purpose is to bring awareness of our plight of our, of our veterans. Too often they get caught up in the everyday news and get pushed aside and left behind. And so this is just a way of bringing it together. It started about nine years ago with a fellow named Bill Shearer. And the beautiful thing about this tour, this organization is it's completely volunteer. Everyone that works with it is connected to it is on a volunteer basis. So there's no payrolls, no real big overheads to cover for anything. So every dollar that's raised is a dollar that goes to a family. And they try to put the money back in the local communities. And so when we get to do what we do, we'll pick a family and they'll try to vet the family to make sure they're really a worthy family in need and then it's taken care of at that point they get a check. And so that's what we really try to do is just bring that awareness. And that is this wonderful. is Carol. And what was your name? I'm My name is Lewis Goodwin. I'm sorry. I'm Lewis the chaplain Goodwin. for our CMA Spirit Riders organization in Alexandria. And what was your name? Carol McCartney. And what is your I'm flag bearer. Um, as a veteran, I was selected and given the honor, the great honor, to be the one to receive the flag and to escort it to its next destination, which, as a veteran, knowing what the funds are going for and the families that they're helping and the need, knowing what a great need there is, I was moved to tears when I was when they asked me. And this whole entire journey has just been a blessing for me and a healing for me as a vet. And you are? I'm Joanne Scarborough. I'm the widow of a Vietnam veteran and I'm bike excursion for the flag. Yes so. ma'am. And you're doing this just voluntarily? Voluntarily. Wonderful. Along with my family. Well, my daughter and son-in-law. <laughs> get to speak with them I hope in a moment. Yeah. But we just wanted to say welcome. Thank you for coming through. It's you're, been a blessing just to see it and to be here. You're and quite welcome. It's been an honor. It's really been humbling as we've come through all these little small towns and seen the turnout of the community to support just watching a flag just breeze by 60 miles an hour. I mean, they've been waiting for however long they've waited just for that brief glimpse of this flag. And truly for me, it's touched us. As Carol said, it's been a healing process for her. And for a lot of these other fellas and, and ladies on their motorcycles, it's the same story everywhere we go. All the way around the nation, it's a process of healing and awareness. And, uh, you know, it just is, is a beautiful thing that it can happen in, in our little community here. So thank you all for coming. On behalf of everything, Caldwell, we thank you all for coming in. And uh, safe journeys as yes, you continue. Thank you. thank you. God bless you. I'm going to try once a month carry on the tradition that uh, Steve did here at the Council on Aging and Cook Farm and play bingo and play games and uh, just uh, it, it's an enjoyable time for me and I always look forward to it every time I come so it, it's a really fun, fun time. How often do they do this? Second Tuesday in every month we'll be here. Uh, we're going to cook something, we're going to play some games and we're going to just have a good time. Well, that's good. We hear the music in there kicked up. How long have you been here already this morning? got here about nine. Probably stay to about 12, 12 30 or so, so. I know they enjoy it. Um, is there a favorite part for you as far as being here with them, or is it, is it food, the music, or just the story? 
I enjoy it all. They, I'm doing fish. This is my first time, and I promised them fish. They all enjoy fish, so I'm doing fish today, and uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Well, I know they appreciate it, and we do too. So thank you for all you're doing here at Council on Aging. Thank you all very much. We're here at the Council on Aging today. Uh, would you share with us a little bit about what you were telling me earlier? Well, I was saying that we love, I love Carwell Parish, and I love our new chef. He's a great man, and we love him, and we love the Council on Aging. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. We're at the Council on Aging today with Ms. Lacey Jones. And Ms. Jones, what is it about uh, these gatherings at the, the Council that you enjoy? Well, I love um, uh, just participating in um, playing dominoes and, you know, just, just and um, the sheriff Bennett taking over and picking up right where Sheriff May left off, or you enjoying that as well? Yes. Yes. And do you like, do you come out just to, just to socialize? Do you live here in Caldwell Parish? Yes, ma'am. I stay in Caldwell. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Well, is there anything that you'd like to say to anybody or anything to Caldwell Parish? Um, I appreciate it. I like that. Simple. <laughs> <laughs> Put your hands together and make welcome Nathan J. Roberts! Yeah. Oh. You like me? You really, really like me? Are you guys ready today for the reading show? Are you see yeah? Yeah! If you're ready, I need everybody on your feet. Everybody on your feet, because you gotta hear me. We gotta get to moving here, because this is what we're all talking about. On your mark, get set, read. Here we go, and we gotta sing. I'm looking. Uh, it's, it's so good to be back in Caldwell Parish again. Uh, uh, for those of you that don't know me, I have moved all the way to Missouri, so I had to drive a long way to get here today. Wow, it's so good to be with you guys. So we're gonna have a great time. Uh, first of all, my name is Nathan Roberts. Everybody say hi, Nathan. Hi, hey, Nathan. Fantastic. Hey, Nathan. And, uh, and whenever, turn around, girl. No, just kidding. Here we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my friend Mouse, and he's going to show us today exactly what an illusion is. Come on out, buddy. Come on out. Yeah, there you go. Hey. You doing all right? <laughs> okay, good. Are you okay? <laughs> okay, good. This is my friend Mouse. He's going to show us today what an illusion is, right? <laughs> no? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> You're scared? <laughs> Are you a man or a mouse? Okay, you're a mouse. It's my friend Mouse. And, uh, but, and it, what? You're hungry? Oh, he's hungry. He hasn't had breakfast this morning. So, are you gonna give, you got a little breakfast? Okay, okay. You give me something to eat here. Oh, he's got a cookie. He likes, he likes cookies. Uh, you like cookies? Okay, good. Let me eat a little bit of this, uh, what is this? Oreo. It's a little old. <laughs> anyway, so just just a little bite. Anyway, let me eat a little bite of this cookie. Yeah, then. Oh, man. This not funny. It's 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 not funny. Okay, here we go. Hold that right there. You got it? Good, good. Pick this arm up. Good, good. Well, let me take that one. I'll take it. Okay, put that underneath there. Hold it tight. You put this one in your hand. Hold this one. There you go. You got it? Good. Now, what we're going to do... <laughs> Man, it's not funny! Uh, try, okay, all right. Look, look at the ceiling. Is that a beautiful ceiling right there? Look, okay, look down at the floor. Look down. Look way down. There you go. Let's give her a hand right now. How about it? Yeah. Okay, now, she is going to wave the magic wand at the smiling stars. Okay, wave the... Wave the... Wave the... Wave the... You, you, gotta, you gotta wave... You gotta wave... Okay. No, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta wave. You gotta... Ow! Oh. Oh. Okay. Got it? I got it. Okay, fantastic. So we're here today to have... Perfect. So we're here. Hey, 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 everybody. No, no. Hey, okay, that's enough of that. We're here today at the yeah, library. I'm from, Where are you from? P -p -p Pennsylvania. Oh, you're from Pennsylvania. How did you get here today from Pennsylvania, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, a p -p -p Prius. <laughs> <laughs> you're here from Pennsylvania. So you're here from Pennsylvania in your Prius, and we're at the library. I like it. I like the library. Oh, so you like to read, right? Huh? Uh. No? I love to read. You love to read. 
Yeah. Okay, good, good. Perfect. Oh, yeah. What's some of your favorite books if you love to read them? Oh, I like the b -b places you go. Oh, by Dr. Seuss. That's a good book. I like yes. that. Yes, and I like Harry p -p -p Potter. Okay, Harry Potter's a good book. And p -p -p Percy Jackson. Okay, what, what, no, no, hang on just a second. I really like the book with no p -p -p pictures. Uh, hang on, hang on just a second. Stop. And we have one car left. The next card before is going to be the winner. You guys want Cannon to win? Yeah! yeah okay. On your mark, get set. Yeah! yeah! The card! Yeah! You won, you won! I won, I won, I won! Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, give my dear Cannon a hand right now. There you go, buddy. This is some of yours. Give another baby a hand right now. It's okay. Uh-oh. It's okay. I will reach up now and I will raise his mouth just like this right here. And no! Okay. I'll come up to the side and I'm going to race his mouth just like no! this. No! Okay. Don't come right. uh, You want to race it? Oh, race it! Hurry, 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 hurry! Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's my friend Mark. Come in, ladies and gentlemen. We are out of here. Yeah. God bless you all. Thank you so much for allowing me to be here today. One more time. Have a great and wonderful summer. And have a great week. Would you once again make love for Miss Petey as she comes back? Yeah! Howell Parish Library today and I am with my name is Tammy Hartsfield I am the director of library services here okay Penny McDonald in charge of children's services wonderful and Miss Tammy um, tell me a little bit more about your your position as the librarian I have been the director here since November okay and prior to that I was a children's librarian at school public schools in Arkansas for the last 17 and a half years oh wow yeah. But my dream has always been to be a director, and this one opened up and moved to Caldwell Parish, and I love it here. There you go. We're very happy to have her here, too. <laughs> yes, she knows what she's doing. Yes, Miss Penny, what about you? How long have you been here? Uh, since 2002, I worked at the school system in the cafeteria and retired there. And my last year, I was a secretary. And I love children, and so when I started working here, I was in whole heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I told uh, one of those um, board members that this was my dream job and said that I would pay you to work here. <laughs> I was really not telling the truth about that. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Um, what, um, I had asked you about this earlier, Miss Tammy, uh, as far as running the library, is it state funded, is it community funded, how is that? We are funded by tax revenue. Okay, so, so this is literally a community library. Yes, we are. That's wonderful. We belong to the community and we're here to serve our community. Good deal. Now you were telling me earlier about a, a lot of things that you had coming up. Um, you have a genealogy class, is my understanding? Yes, ma'am. Uh, we've had a lot of interest in people doing genealogy about their families, wanting to know how to get started. Um, over the last months, we have done a workshop. We advertised it, small group workshop. The response has been overwhelming. People wanting in, we limited the size. So we are going to do a genealogy workshop every Tuesday in the month of August from one to three o'clock in the afternoon. If you have your own tablet or laptop, you can bring your own device. If you need to borrow one of ours, we limit it to four because we have four laptops that we allow pe this uh, public to use. Sure. Um, Miss Delaney is in charge of that workshop. She does an excellent job. She will be using the book called Getting Started Online by William Dollarhide, mm -hmm. which is a new publication for teaching people how to use that. Mm -hmm. We offer Ancestry.com. Um, mm -hmm. The library version is free in the library. Okay. And then we also have a couple other websites that are free to the public if you come in. Wow, that is awesome. Um, and what about Miss Penny? Uh, story time, I understand, is getting pretty popular here at the library. It is, and Monday we have the zoo coming at 10 o'clock, and we're expecting a good turnout. The zoo comes and um, brings different animals that they tell about their natural habitat, and uh, 
how they eat, what they eat, how they do their business, mm -hmm. and uh, they let them touch them, and it's personal experience with the different animals. Now, is there an age limit to no the, age visit? limit? No age limit. Uh, our story time is usually pre-K to sixth grade, mm -hmm. but anybody is welcome. I mean, teenagers we like the uh, animals. I think I would like the animals. <laughs> <laughs> this is our wrap up from our summer reading program. This will be our last okay. one for the summer reading program. So okay. wonderful outcome. Turn and for that. Um, you said Louisiana Purchase Gardens and they'll be here. They'll be here, okay. uh -huh. and o'clock. they will have animals. So yes. just to verify that with the parents and such will know they're going to show up with a surprise all right, right. <laughs> and now after uh, the zoo i understand next monday you have a pretty special story time as well we do dina domain is supposed to come over and uh read fairy tales mm -hmm. she'll be dressed up as maleficent and uh, i'm looking forward to it it's going to be a really good program she's going to uh, have a contest for the children to dress up as their favorite fairy tale character. Okay. We have a lot of princesses and fairies. And, oh yeah. Uh, maybe Peter Pan. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. A lot. We of have a photo op. Yes, photo op. They can come take pictures, and uh, we'll have a background, and uh, then they'll all have their different costumes on. Wonderful. Now I know that you guys have a a, a web page. Uh, we do. It's uh, Caldwell Dash Library. Caldwell-Parish-Library.org. Okay. And um, we had to put the dashes in because someone else owned the Caldwell Parish Library domain, mm -hmm. so it's not all ran together. Oh. It is, you have to have those dashes in to get to the proper website. Okay. And uh, you also have a Facebook like everybody else, I assume. I created a Facebook page a couple months ago okay. and try to keep it updated on what's going on in the events. Good. And also you told me you had a big following on your eBooks. That That's is something new, new we started. Um, a lot of people want to read on their tablets. Mm -hmm. They can read it while they're traveling or things mm -hmm. like that. So we did uh, subscribe to Overdrive, mm -hmm. which is very popular. There's over, you remember, 200,000? That's a lot. 200,000 <laughs> books, wow. all age levels. Mm -hmm. And all they need to do is have a library card with us. They mm -hmm. must live in Caldwell Parish. Have a library card with us we'll give them their username and their password and they can get going and it's free wow that sounds very interesting it's a wonderful thing to have uh, here in Caldwell uh, yes. it just brings us up one more one more notch on the technology uh, ladder so to speak um, is there anything else um, other than your hours of operation that you can think of uh, our hours are open we're open from 8 to 5 mm -hmm. Monday through Friday a lot of people don't know we're open on Saturday mornings. Mm -hmm. We are open from 8.30 to noon on Saturdays. Wow. Okay, I did not know that. So there you go. Mm -hmm. um, and as, as far as Cobble Parish, um, what is it about Cobble Parish? You, I heard you say earlier that you, you enjoyed it I here. love the small town community. Mm -hmm. Everybody's friendly mm -hmm. and it's been very welcoming. Miss Penny, you've been here a little while. What do you think? What What is it about Caldwell? Uh, Caldwell is a close-knit community. If you have a problem, you can always get help somewhere down the line. Mm -hmm. And uh, we try at the library to welcome everyone in and uh, for fun and research and uh, studies. And it's just a good place to go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And if there's something you're interested in that we don't offer, let us know. If there's a big enough interest, we'll start one. There you go. Well, we're always, always ready to start something new here. Yes. Um, and one other thing, what uh, down the line, um, where do you see the library going, say, in five years? Where do you hope to see it? More uh, programming for teens and adults. Mm -hmm. um, definitely the children's programming is continuing with that. Mm -hmm. Just building a collection on materials that people want to read right. okay and if uh, anybody needs to get in touch with you uh, phone number 649-2259 okay all right well on behalf of everything Caldwell and Caldwell Parish we want to thank you ladies for being here and uh, being such a big part of, of our parish